Hello everyone, welcome back. Now we are going to show you a new ADC that is ADS Triple One Four. And to gain more knowledge about this ADC, let's proceed to controleverything.com. And here we have to search on for this ADC that is ADS Triple One Four. And let's see what we got here. And here we are with this ADC, and it's a 16-bit two-channel precision analog to digital converter. And there is a long list of features which is onto the screen and you can also purchase this ADC right from here. Now in the hardware connection setup part, uh, the first thing we require is an Arduino Nano which you are able to see on my screen. Next we require an I2C sheet just like this. Now it's available on the website controleverything.com and the real reason we are using this sheet is to make connections with other I2C devices a lot easier. So for that gently place this Arduino Nano over the I2C sheet and make a connection like that. For the power up function, what do we require is a mini USB cable just like this and gently insert it over here, the power jack. Now we need our ADC analog to digital converter that is ADS1114 and this here is a connecting cable. Now make sure while making the connection among the cable and the ADC, the ground wire of the cable should be connected to the ground terminal of the ADC and similarly we have to follow this route for the ground terminal of the I2C sheet. Now we are done with all the concerned connections for the hardware. Now let's have a look over the port. Also in the interfacing section first of all we need to log in to github.com and after that we have to search on for the repository that is control everything community and then we have this ADC that is ADS1114 and here we are with the Arduino code but Let's go to the instructions part as we have to fulfill them first. We have to download and install Arduino software on our local machine and this link will help us to do that. That is Arduino.cc. I am opening it up as you can see and we have all the information regarding the installation steps. You can download the Arduino software from here and it runs on Windows, Mac or any operating system. It's your choice in which operating system you want to do that. And after getting that, we have to download or get all the code and we have to double click to run the program. And then we have to compile and upload the code on the Arduino IDE and we can have the output on the serial monitor. Now get back to the Arduino code as we have noticed, it is a .in extension file. And first thing you notice in the code that we have included wire.h library and we have defined the address of the sensor that is 0x48. And the word setup function we have initialized I2C communication as master and serial communication with the baud rate equal to 9600. Now as you notice we have in the writing section part first of all we have selected configuration register having address 0x01 and we are going to send a data that will be A, I and P that is positive for 0 connection and 0 end and we have a negative that will be A, I and 1. We have plus minus 0.248 voltage reference and that will be 0x84 and we have continuous conversion mode 128 SPS that will be 0x 83. We are writing it and then in the virtual function we are going to select a data register that will be 0x00. Then from this very register we are requesting and reading two bytes of the data. And then we have a conversion of the data as you can notice onto my screen we have used a formula, a technique which we have seen in the instructions part of the data sheet for ADS1114 which is a ADC. At the very end of our code, we have the output data to be printed onto the single monitor which is exactly the digital value of analog input. So this is how the sensor code is here. Now what do we require next is a look over the working of this ADC. Now for the working part, first of all we need to copy this entire code of the Arduino and let's open up the Arduino terminal here and in this terminal we need to create a new file and for that uh, we create it and we paste the entire code and we save it ads1114 and let's see how to verify and compile it and here we go and after that we need to upload the code and it's going to upload right now in front of you and the code has uploaded now we have to check for the output display and for that we need to open up the serial monitor and let's open up and we have the digital value it's coming a raw value because there is nothing connected across the ends but instead when we try to connect a double A battery of 1.5 volt across the two ends of this sensor we are having the value as you are able to see 
it's almost constant coming constant there is not a much really change this means the sensor is working as per we desire and now let's have a look over the applications and the working the ads triple one four is a precision analog to digital converter with 16 bit of resolution the ads triple one four featured an onboard reference and oscillator data are transferred via an i2c compatible serial interface Four I2C slave addresses can be selected. The ADC 1114 operates from a single power supply ranging from 2.0 volt to 5.5 volt. The concerned applications regarding this ADC due to high accuracy analog to digital conversions are portable instrumentation, consumer goods, battery monitoring, temperature measurement, and a lot more to mention. Well, you can have this sensor and you can purchase it from controleverything.com and you can get the code from resource tab from this site. You can download the code as zip file. Also, you can get the code from github.com and the repository there is control everything community. In the end, I would like to make it clear that if you have any doubt regarding any part of this sensor or video, you can have your queries on controleverything.com and you can post your comments on the community page on this website. For articles and blogs, you can have a look over on instructables.com and to subscribe more video tutorials like this, you can have a look over our YouTube channel. In the end, I hope you enjoyed this video and had a good one yourself. Thanks a lot for watching.